Howdy. Hey you. <laughs> I keep wanting to say good morning, but it <laughs> might not be good morning where it is by you. It's probably not. Okay. It might be. Okay. So it's been on my heart, and I'll tell you why. Uh, to see what Jesus, how he taught us to pray. And uh, he gave specific instructions, and we also have examples of him praying. Yeah. So here we go. So a couple months ago, it was O Dark 30, and I came out here to read the Bible and pray. And as I was walking out here, I said, I said, Father, could you teach me to pray? Or if I'm praying just fine, that's great. <laughs> but if there's something you want me to change, teach me how to pray. And I sat down at this table and I flipped my Bible open, just like I often will do. <laughs> and it landed on John chapter 17. So I begin to read John 17. And what is it? But God, Jesus, giving us an example of how to pray. The whole chapter is Jesus praying. The whole chapter, John 17. So I read it and I was just, I mean, you can imagine how thrilled I was that I pray and the prayer is immediately answered on him giving me the best example of how to pray. So after, after I read it a few times and thought about it for a few days, I decided that I wanted to uh, plagiarize Jesus and use his prayer as an example for, for me. And I'm gonna share that with you. So Alex will read the scriptures uh, word for word out of, uh, out of King, King James. James. <laughs> and I'm going to give you an interpretation of what I did with those verses for my own prayer. I took Jesus' prayer as an example and I plagiarized Jesus. Amen. Okay. So. So do you want me to read, you want me to stop after each verse? Yes. Okay. Yes. Gosh, I'm going to get the flow how you want it. Most of it I'm just going to just read. Every once in a while I might give an explanation. Okay. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. okay. So John 17, verse 1. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee. Okay, so what I wrote on the top of this was, prayer revised for us as a guide. So verse one, I wrote, Father, let your spirit burn through me, that you may be glorified. Verse two, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. As you have given him power over all flesh, that he gives eternal life to as many as you have given him. Verse three, and this is life eternal, that they might know, that they might know thee, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, who you sent. Verse 4, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou hast, which thou gavest me to do. Here's a verse where I have changed, and that we can say, I am glorifying you on the earth. I am working on the work you have given me. Verse five, and now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. O Father, glorify thyself through me with the glory you had before the world was. Verse 6, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. I manifest your name to all you have given me to minister to. Lord, they will keep your word. Verse 7, 
Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. They see your spirit and know what I give them is from you. Verse 8, For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I come out from thee, and they have believed that thou did send me. I have given them the words you have given me. They have received them and believe that you have sent me. Verse 9, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for who you have given me, because they are yours. Verse 10, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. All are yours, and they glorify you. Verse 11, And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee. Holy Father, keep through thine own name those who thou hast given me, that they may know, I'm sorry, that they may be one as we are. Holy Father, keep us through your name, that we may be one with you. Verse 12, while I was with them in the world, I have kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me as I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. While I am in this world, let your Holy Spirit guide me to be an example to guide your people. Verse 13, and now come I to thee, that these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. And now let your joy flow through me into them. Verse 14, I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I have given your word, and the world hates them, because they are not like the world. Verse 15, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. I pray that you don't take them out of the world, but that you keep them from evil. Verse 16, they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. They are not of the world, as I am not of the world. Verse 17, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Sanctify them in your truth. Your word is truth. Verse 18, as thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. You have sent me into the world, I also send them into the world. Verse 19, and for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they may also be sanctified through truth. Verse 20, neither pray I for these alone, mm -hmm. but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. I don't pray for them only, but also for those that will believe through their word. Verse 21, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. May they all be one as you are one, and one with you that the world may believe you have sent us. Verse 22, in the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one. In the glory you have given us to be one, so we are. Verse 23, I in them, and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me and hast loved and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. You and us perfects us. The world will see you love us as you have loved your son. Verse 24, Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory which thou hast given me for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. 
Thank you for letting us behold your glory. Thank you for your Son. Thank you for your Holy Spirit guiding us. Verse 25. O righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me. O righteous Father, the world does not know you, but I know you, and those you send me know you through your Spirit in me. In verse 26, And I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it, that the, word, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. I have declared your name, and will declare your name, and the love you have given me, I will give them. So that's just taking Jesus' example and making it our own. 